Newton's first law of motion. In previous lesson, we have already learned Newton's first law. Newton's first law states that if the forces acting on an object is balanced, an object at rest remains at rest, and the object in motion continues in motion with a constant velocity, that is, with a constant speed in a straight line. For example, if there are two forces acting on a block, both are of same magnitude but in opposite direction, the net force is equal to zero or the two forces are in equilibrium. If the block is initially at rest, it will remain at rest or it is initially moving, it will move with constant speed in a straight line. Effects of force When you are in Form 2, you should have learned that force can change the size and shape of an object. It can also make a stationary object move, change the speed of a moving object, or change the direction of the object. All of these are called the effects of force. We should take note that changing stationary state, speed, or direction of an object means acceleration. In other words, if there are unbalanced forces or non-zero net force acting on an object, the object will accelerate. Newton's second law. The conclusion from the previous slides is summarized in Newton's second law of motion. Newton's second law states that when a net force is applied on an object, the acceleration of the object is directly proportional to the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. In mathematic expression, we write this as A is directly proportional to F over M. Newton's second law, the equation. In previous slide, we concluded Newton's second law in a mathematic expression. A is directly proportional to F over M. We can also write this as F is directly proportional to MA. To make this into equation, we multiply the variable by a constant k, and hence we get f equals to kma. k is defined as 1, therefore the equation becomes f equals to ma, where f is the net force, m is the mass, and a is the acceleration. If you are confused about the mathematics, you can ignore it and just memorize the equation. How this equation is developed is not important in the scope of discussion of SPM physics. In fact, you are going to learn this in your Form 5 Modern Max in a chapter called Variation. If you would like to know more about proportionality, you may visit the Wikipedia or the Max page for more detailed discussions. Summary of Newton's First Law and Second Law Let's summarize our discussions on Newton's first law and Newton's second law. Newton's first law states that if the net force is equal to zero, an object at rest will remain at rest, an object in motion will keep on moving at a constant speed in a straight line. Newton's second law states that if the net force is not equal to zero, the object will accelerate and the acceleration can be determined from the equation f equals to ma.